What up, YouTube? Six Mile Red Run. Back with the boy KCV3. What's going on, people? And we're about to give our presence of that greatness multiplayer, which is Uncharted 4, nigga. <laughs> Casey. Yo. How you feeling this multiplayer player? Because I want you to go first. Uh, for the most part, um, just pretty much, you know, from the beta. Um, it's uh, it's pretty good. Um, you know, it's, it's very fun. It's definitely better better if you play with a squad because if you're with a squad of other four other people that's not your team or you know you're not your friends or whatever you may have a bad day you know pretty much you know they're gonna like when you're down and you need to get healed they're probably gonna go for the kill still healing you which you know these are frustrations and stuff so i just like many times i, I yelled at my teammate even though they're not listening <laughs> um, yeah it, it, it's ridiculous um but other than that the game is fun uh, you know, the unlockable is cool. They have good trials for you. You can play private matches to unlock other uh, other goodies that you can do that you can use to buy. Um, I guess like extra skins and extra stuff. You know, uh, for your character and stuff. One bad, one main thing I kind of have to say that kind of bugged me and was the lack of game modes because they only have about four game modes. Uh-huh. Well, three in general. They have team deathmatch, they have plunger, and they have command, which is like you know capturing territories and stuff. So it's kind of like a team objective. Right. And they have team, they have ranked team deathmatch. So, um, you know, I know they're going to add more game modes. I think the first maps and stuff is supposed to come in the summer. So you know, I'm, I was like, I was looking for the elimination. I was looking for they had for my charter three. They had two versus two versus two, where you know they had three three teams of you know, two people. And stuff like that. I was trying to look for a whole bunch of variety of matches. But right. Have. So that's the only downfall so far. But other than that, you know, everything else is working pretty good. Uh, I guess you could say the hit markers sometimes can be iffy because when you shoot some people, right. and they're bouncing shoot, everywhere. They don't even fall down. I'm like, what's going on? And then they shoot you like twice, you'd be done. So, right. Okay. And what I love about it is it's gun on gun, man. If you can't win a gunfight, you is not going to do good in this game, man. That's, that's what I love about it, man. And he's yeah. just like, you got the sidekicks, like the booster and stuff. The boosters are like perks. They call it the thing of perks. They call it that's what boosters are in this game. Exactly. And, uh, and they useless in this game, basically, in my opinion. And, uh, like, and the sidekicks for us, like the rocket launchers, the brutes, and what's the specials with the LDI blows and stuff? I forgot. Uh, I forgot the names, but you know, Whatever. they got the other. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like those are good, but they're not overpowered. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And they act like side effects. Yeah. Yep, side effects. And um, and just this game is phenomenal. It comes with eight maps, right? Yeah, it comes with eight maps so far. Four modes, but all the DLC gonna be free. I mean, multi- I mean not all of it, but the mo- the maps gonna be free. You right. said, you yeah, got- multiplayer portion is gonna be free. Um, and uh, it just I'm having a thrill, man. I got tons of gameplay recorded, my review of the whole game coming. I want to say sometime next week. And uh, what about you, Casey? Is this one of the multiplayer you can see you coming back to every day or uh-huh. every other week? I would say as of right now, yeah, because like if you look at it, there's no multi, no that's your battlefield. There's no like top tier multiplayer games now. You got Doom, you got Overwatch coming out twenty fourth, um, and for that until the fall, you know, until Battlefield One and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, you don't really have nothing. But like I'll say, yeah, because I usually since like Call of Duty, not Call of Duty, Uncharted Three, I've been playing it probably I think the first six seven months, but that call. But, but that Uncharted had like a lot of you know you know a lot of stuff going on with overpower stuff. Uh, but this one's actually more balanced, so I can see me you know especially with new maps and stuff you keep playing for a while. So I can see me playing it probably for I guess the rest of the year, even though I'm getting stuff like Doom and hopefully Overwatch eventually. All right. And you know, Battlefield and stuff come down down the hill. I still probably when Battlefield and stuff and fall comes down, I'm may drop it off probably for a little while but then eventually come back because I know they're going to add more content and stuff and get back in the groove of things so I think it's going to keep me rolling depending on how often they're going to drop the map packs but I think they're going to drop it like you know some in the summer some in the fall and you know some in the spring so yeah uh would you would you say this game could you can see pro people playing is it pro people yeah like MLG and stuff like that uh, uh, it 
it's uh, kind of. I mean, if it seems like a game that can, it, it doesn't seem like a game that can be comp. It can be competition wise, but I don't think it can. Right. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't think it will be. Uh, it just seems like it's a good game just to play around with. I could definitely see if they add more, let's say, more game modes and stuff like that. Probably, and if they keep it balanced like they do, I can see it. Uh, I can see it one day doing it, but as of right now, I don't know. Has there ever been a third person shooter uh, uh, competition thing like that? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe SOCOM back in the day, but oh, uh, Gears of War. Gears of War, yeah. okay. And Gears of War was like pretty much well, it, well, Gears of War can do it because pretty much Uncharted has some of the stuff as well, just a little bit different. Right. I think that I think that can go as well if they keep it balanced and you know more game maps and more. First of all, they need more modes for variety and stuff, depending on if they're going to do like team deathmatch or something, and more maps and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I, you know, you never say never. You know, you know, probably eh, this is the last Uncharted, so probably next couple of years right. they may can do something with it. So you know, you, you never doubt it out. You know, there's always a possibility. Would you? uh yeah, man, this game is fun, man. It's just I'm having a blast with it. Uh, I was off this past weekend, so that's all I play. Hung out with, with my girlfriend, and she spent the weekend. I get to play, beat, and try and play the game. She like when I play these like story driven games like this, because she was over here when I played when I played Last of Us on PS4. She loved that. She said, "I love Naughty Dog." I'm like, okay, now nah, I gotta get you to playing video games. Now nah, you be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. Yeah, man, I'm getting another Xbox this week. If I can save my money up, and hopefully nothing happens till Friday. You're not getting the uh, you're not getting the Gears of War bundle. Or waiting for it? Nah, cause nah, man. I just cause this is a couple games I want to play, like Cuphead that come out before Gears and stuff like that. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to tell, talk Casey into getting one, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, you know what? I, I, that's Cause they cheap as hell, man. They cheap fine yeah, they too. You know what I'm saying? And and I feel like this generation, you really don't hear nobody Xbox One breaking anything like that. Yeah, or, or consoles. Period. It could be any console this generation, even the Wii U. Like Red Wing of Death and stuff like that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and, right. uh, um, this it, man. Only two videos tonight, man. I'm gonna try to. I swear. I got a couple of commentaries on Charted on there, but ain't nobody watching them. I guess when you, unless you're not doing drama videos on YouTube, nobody gonna watch your gameplay. But even though I'm putting gameplay behind this video, but uh, yeah, Casey, what groups you in again, man? Uh, I got Games Forever is my personal group, um, and pretty much I run a anime slash video game group called Anime slash Video Game Kingdom. If you're a fan of video games, manga, comic books, and anime. Come join, check us out. Um, we just hit seven thousand subscribe, not subscribers, seven thousand members about two weeks ago. So pretty much we always active there. So you know, if you are interested in any of those things, can drop you can drop by and um, check us out. All right, I mean we game here. I'm administrator. We have fun in there. Talking about games, we roast each other. All the administrators be roasting each other, so it's fun. But uh, please subscribe to my channel, his channel, like. Comment, man. We we don't do drama over here. We don't talk about graphics, 1080p, anything. We talk about games. We upload gameplay. Ain't that right, Casey? Right. And um, his little his little brother's vacuum in the background. But uh, say peace to the uh, people, Casey. Have a nice one, guys. And we out, man. See y'all this week, wherever. We have the next video. Subscribe to my channel here. We put a lot of work in that videos. Peace.